I teach a course in anthropology, an upper level anthropology course called Resource Wars of the 21st Century. And I implemented a out of classroom service learning. It's, I think of it more as an engaged learning experience for students where we travel to West Virginia as a class and we stay on a site of active surface mining. And I teach about all of our critical resources, water, oil, gas, extractive industries. And the very last section we get to is on um, mining and particularly coal. So this experience allows them to spend four days. We camp out as a class. We make our own meals on the mountain. And we map out, um, we visit a site of mountaintop coal removal, which is a new extractive industry. It's a way of mining coal based upon sort of blowing up with dynamite mountaintops instead of mining coal underground. And so for students, they map out and try to understand the socioeconomic, the health consequences, and um, the environmental in particular, because once we blow up mountains and extract the seams of coal, we're never actually replenishing mountain tops or reconstructing ecosystems. So for them, it's incredibly powerful experience of putting theory into practice. Um, and particularly the problem I had in the classroom is I teach very complicated political economic theories. It's very hard for students to wrap their head around long histories of resource extractivism and how that's constructed and created unevenness between nation states, between regions, between city spaces. And this moment for them of seeing, of hearing, of listening to community members talk about mountaintop coal removal brings the theory to life in a way that I can teach them some of these concepts. I can try to relay and break down really hard theoretical ideas, but until they actually live in sites of resource conflict, they really don't understand the theory. So my expectations were that they would come up with creative projects that linked the experience to the theories and the concepts they were learning in the class. Uh, so they were divided into four groups on the trip. One was creating a film that illustrated the socioeconomic, environmental, and economic consequences of mountaintop coal removal. Uh, the second was using documentary photography and visually displaying. And the third and fourth groups were creative writing and popular writing. Um, and so they were challenged in groups or more collective structures to think through how they would relay information that would teach in a sort of accessible way um, what communities are, are feeling in extractive zones. So I guess for other disciplines in the humanities or social sciences, how can we transport students to other spaces? You know, I would challenge colleagues and friends to think about really finding um, classrooms without borders, right? So what ways can we create schools in the streets? And how can we think about taking our students? If we teach about political science, how do we teach them about our political system or maybe even the injustices that might exist through an out-of-classroom learning experience? And I think for students, too, they own the material in a very different way. So in the classroom, they sit as passive listeners to an instructor. And in many cases, I have felt my students taught me on these trips, taught me about their own lives, taught me about their struggles, the kinds of things they go through. And that perhaps if they own the educational experience in that way, then we become more collaborators. Mm -hmm.